Hi everyone, welcome back to Sniff with Steph. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all the support. We have a very special guest today. This is Cole. This is my best friend's fiance. Hi. And we are going to use and abuse his uh, sensory things today, his nostrils, his nose. And we're gonna have him rate some really popular perfumes. And I know you guys love these type of videos, so get ready. This is gonna be, we're gonna get some juicy tea in this video. I'm gonna tell yeah. you what works and what doesn't. Oh yeah. We're gonna see what's sexy and what's not. So basically I'm gonna have Cole smell 10 perfumes today and he's gonna rate them from one to 10. He's not really a perfume person. He doesn't really know what's what. He's gonna do his best and uh, help us out here. If you like my content, like and subscribe down below and let's get to it. Hey, hey. <laughs> this is the first perfume we have today and I'm just gonna talk about it after he smells it cause I don't want him to be biased or anything. Give it a sniffers. So what do you think of this perfume? Uh, do you think it's for someone young, someone older, more mature, girly? Like what vibe are you getting from I'm this? I'm getting the club vibe right now. A clubbing vibe? Like even like Vegas. Okay. So. Um, Going to Vegas and turning know, up? Not, it, it, this isn't like, you know, 13 year old like bubble gum perfume either right uh -huh. now. This is definitely like I'm going out. Okay. So this is like a bold, like it's it's a really good fragrance. I like it. So you think it's sexy? Yeah, I'm ready to go clubbing. Hell yeah. I'm the clubbing, I mean like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. standing mm -hmm. in the corner of the dance <laughs> leering at people. Yeah, that's good. That's not creepy at all. You're good. So what would you rate it out of 10? I'd give that one an, on a woman. an eight. An eight out of 10. Yeah, I, love it. I love it. Okay. I'm a simple person. Dang. So this is called Sofia. Do you know the actress Sofia Vergara? She's in Modern Family, the one with the huge titties. Oh, I mean, Latina. I knew because of her acting skills. <laughs> so this is her celebrity fragrance. So this is like a $25 fragrance, celebrity perfume. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's like a juicy, fruity, sweet fragrance. It's very, very popular in the fragrance community. I like it. You heard it here, ladies. Sofia by Sofia Vergara is an 8 out of 10. Sexy AF, according to this strapping bucks. young man. Pretty. It's one of the best parts. Let me give you a lot on there. Yeah. Okay, give it a schnoofers. Second perfume. What do you think of this? What vibes are you getting from this fragrance? It's growing on me. It's growing on you as it dries it's down. Not as, it's not as like, you know, verbose, I guess, or out there. It's not as punchy. Ones. Yeah. Interesting. It's okay, okay, but it's not. I'm Do you see it's a nice. Way? It's nice. It's nice. It's a solid six. Okay. So Five wow. and a half, six. So would you say this is like a mature fragrance? Very or, mature. Much, very mature. Yes. This is what you would wear to work. To work. Okay. It's an interesting taste. Not that I smell people at work often. <laughs> it just, it feels a little bit more grown up. Like it has some of uh -huh. those exciting, like the, the yes. sense the other one had, but then it feels like my grandma might wear it. So it's... That, it, uh, roses, I don't know. Roses, so you're getting floral from this. It smells grandma-ish to you. Work vibes. Okay. <laughs> so I don't get that at all from this fragrance. You gave it a six out of 10, right? This is a vanilla berries, very sweet, creamy fragrance. Berries, yeah. um, oh, it's yeah. girly, it's fun. People love to wear this going out. Definitely not a work fragrance in my opinion, but or a grandma fragrance. Yeah. I don't really get any florals, but hey. I think you know what it yeah. is. Like in especially in comparison to Sofia Vergara, that one is very sweet and punchy I in think, your face. I think I'm comparing it to Yeah, you. don't try not to compare it. Try to just like so, Smell it as a standalone. I know that's hard to do, obviously. I'm smelling something at first and then something after, and I like yeah. the beginning a lot. Berries, that's sweet berries. Is. Okay, cool. I just, I think what it is is the berries come out so strong, I'm expecting, and then there's nothing to And then it's with. just vanilla. Yeah. Okay. Six out of 10, you heard it here, and this is called Lancome La Nuit Trésor à la Folie. I have a feeling you're uh, gonna feel some type of way about this one. Oh, forgot to show it. 
This one doesn't feel as flower, like, I guess, berry-like. There's not, yeah, this one doesn't have berries as much as the other ones. It's true. I like it, but it feels, I like the beginning, but it feels like it doesn't have a lot of... Personality? Yeah. I'm, I don't know, the beginning is real nice. It just feels like it could have something to follow it. I think that first one had so much there. It was like a big, there was a whole, it was a story in a bottle. There's a beginning, <laughs> a middle, and an end. Okay. So this, poetic. This, I feel like it's a, you know what this is? It leaves me wanting more though. It leaves you wanting more. That's in a I good like way? This. Yes, in a good way. Like it's a tease? Like the other ones I like to smell because they smell good, but this mm -hmm. is like, a, like I'm waiting for something. Mm. It makes me hold my breath. Wow. Okay. So this is very sexy. I'm, I'm hearing from you. Yeah. I, I You're like, digging uh, it. Yeah. I'm going to give it it's, a it's, I, Favorite is so much for the first it's one. suggestive maybe? Yeah, I'm going to say seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay. So this is called Delina. It's a very expensive niche fragrance. And uh, this is a rose vanilla fragrance, but in the top it has like a sour rhubarb and lychee note. Mm -hmm. So it's a that little punchy in, yeah. the, in the front, but this is a like very popular niche fragrance. It's much more high end than the other two you smelled. I feel like there's a lot more to it. Yeah, it's very complex. Right. It's very interesting. It's one of the most famous female fragrances out there. Well, that's a solid one. That's and one of my favorite like it, perfumes. It's, it's versatile. It is that extremely versatile. Like I, I'm starting to, every scent I smell, I try to picture where you're at yeah. when I smell it. And that mm -hmm. one I can smell it mm -hmm. in a couple of places. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's classy, but there's something sexy and like sensual about it. 100%. I'm very curious to see. This is like completely out, but take it to the face. So this is, if you guys didn't see, you all know what this is. What vibes are you getting from this fragrance? I don't know. There's, it smells, it's got a nice smell, but there's something in there that's overpowering the rest of it. And okay. it smells like, I'm not a big fan of the floral. Mm -hmm. And that's personally just because I think my grandma always had like rose perfume mm -hmm. on. So it was like, you know, I just smell grandma. Mm, this smells like but grandma that's not, you. It's not, it's not, it, it's like, it, it's reminding me of it. It's not that. There's like a There's note definitely there. floral tones in there. Okay. But it's also I, I wish, sweet. I wish the sweet was higher and the floral was less. Uh -huh, of course. This is a definitely a floral per perfume, but it's also very sweet. There's some patchouli in there. It has some depth. You know what's nice too is it, it does have depth because the further away I get, I smell it differently. Yeah, and it's very strong. I feel like it would carry far. Maybe it's grandma's to you because it has some powderiness. Are you getting that, powder? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so the other ones weren't particularly powdery. This one definitely has some powdery vibes to But it. I only smell it really close. Mm -hmm. I'm away from it. And I guess in real life, I'm not smelling people like this. So, well, uh, I mean. It's nice from here. Some people. Yeah. Um, what would you give this out of 10 on sexiness? Because it kind of feels like a lot of the other ones, I'm just, I'm, it, it loses points for me. I'm going to give it a five. And that's, you know, that's very, that's, Fair, because this is actually quite a, people could call this generic. Like it's a very famous perfume, but at the same time, you've probably smelled this everywhere. Oh, what is it? It's called La Vie Belle by Lancome, and it's like one of the top selling fragrances of all time. And this is the kind of thing like everyone has it. You've probably yeah. smelled I've it smelled without it, knowing yeah, it, right. so many times in your life. And it definitely is not the most unique fragrance it's anymore. A, it's a great smell. It's yummy it's just, though. It's just, when it's, so it's when all of it, it's not sexy when everybody wears it. Right. It's, you know, it's not I'm unique. I'm just used to it, right. It's not unique. Yeah. Yes. I but totally it's, get it's, that. It's a solid standby if you want to smell good. Smells five out of ten. All right. You heard it here. Five out of ten for La Vie, La Vie Val by Lancome. So the next perfume we have is this bad boy right here. And I'm very excited for this one. I, f I have a good feeling about this, but don't let me bias you. I'm going to shut up. Get out. What are you getting from this perfume? I'm actually kind of having trouble smelling it. Yeah. It's very, it's not as like It's not as strong. Yeah. See, I'm going to be honest. I feel like we're getting into the like perfume connoisseur categories now, which might be above my uh -huh. humble stature. Okay. What do you mean? Like this is niche? Yes. Is that what you're trying to say? Very interesting. Okay. I don't know. You think it's very complex or something? No, I just, I don't smell Why it. Why don't I smell it, spray it on my hand? If you I, can't yeah, smell I can't, it on the I paper? I can't really smell it, so I feel like it's one Some of those... perfumes, some perfumes, it's hard to smell on paper, so I'm going to spray it on my hand. You smell it better? Yeah, I smell it, it I think, underwhelming. I don't know. I'm it not... is underwhelming. I agree with you. 
Okay. It's interesting that you thought it was niche because it was underwhelming. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, it's like you go to a restaurant and the like fancy high-end one, it's like this little tiny thing with like some drizzle around it and you're like, oh, what the fuck is this? I, I understand what you're saying, but I don't know if that analogy can be made with perfume. In that like, I'm not getting food, but I'm paying a lot. Because I'm this not is, getting a scent. Well, how, what would you rate it out of 10? Oh, I can't smell it. It's hard to... I'm just not, yeah, not yeah, I'm, I'm just not, not excited by either. it. It's, I guess not the, the idea is, it, would, it, would it be something that if I were walking by, I'd go, and that's a no. <laughs> All right, so how three, much? Three out of 10. Three out of 10. So this is a celebrity perfume. This is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. Jessica, you need so, to step the game up. Yeah. I haven't uh, heard you in a while and I can't smell <laughs> I actually really don't like this perfume. I felt the same way. It was very underwhelming. I couldn't really smell much. People love it though. Three out of 10. For Jessica Simpson Fonse. Okay, so now we have something different because I feel like all of these have been all sweet, right? Okay. Sweet, kind of the same vibe, like very girly. So we're gonna switch it up in these next few and we'll see how you react. Is this like motor oil? <laughs> it's oil. It's just ground up charcoal. Like a right. Sniffers. Ooh, that one's not as, yeah, it's not. It's different, right? It's way different than the other mm -hmm. one, but I like it. You like it? Like, I feel like this one. Uh huh. I feel like I could wear this. Yeah, you probably could. I don't I think it's too this. feminine that a man couldn't wear this. Mm -hmm. What kind of vibes are you getting? Like mature, young, middle-aged? Is it party? Is it like formal? It's fresh. Fresh. Interesting. It's clean. Clean, I can see. Like, I, I feel like this could be worn in a business meeting. Mm -hmm. This would be pleasant to smell on an elevator. <laughs> right? Where there's some that you're like, wow, that's strong. Mm -hmm. This is pleasant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. I'm just, Do you find it sexy? So there are perfumes that I smell that are sexy and that they just right away set my teeth on edge. Yeah. That's not what this does, but this is sexy in a different way. Mm -hmm. In a way, like, I would just slowly over time find myself like... Okay, mm it's good. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's one of those. It pulls you in slowly. Yeah, it's nice. I like this. It's, it's different, it's, right? It's a Unique. sleeper. Yes, mm -hmm. I love this. Good, I'm so glad you like it. You're gonna give it an eight? Is that what you said? <laughs> Yay! I'm so glad you like this one. So this is Zadigan Voltaire. This is her. Uh, this is a sandalwood fragrance, but it's also like milky, sweet yeah. sandalwood. Yeah. And because it's sandalwood, I see what you are saying about it, you, it could be on a man because it's woody. It's a woody fragrance, but it's ha it has like milk, hazelnut, a little bit of spice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really sexy and different. Yeah, they, they took the, sand, it, the I smelled the sandalwood. Yeah. Now that you say that. Yeah. And then it's sweet. So eight out of 10? Eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. So this is her by Saudi Van Voltaire. We have a winner. The shoe. I hope it doesn't smell like sweaty feet. <laughs> it's exactly what it's going to smell like. It's going to smell like your big toe. There you go. Hmm. This is different. Mm -hmm. It is different. These next few are going to be different. Yeah, see, these ones don't have that, like, flowery. Mm -hmm. It's not as generic, maybe? Yeah. That, like, flower, flowery, sweet, girly, like, typical I DNA. I feel like a lot of them start with that, that as a base and they oh, yeah. add a scent or two to it. And that's 100%. where they start to smell the same. 100%. I think you're spot on. Definitely the ones we tried in the beginning fall into that category. What are you getting from it's this? It's a good smell, but... It's good, not great. Good, not great. It's not. It's not bad at all. It's just. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a. It's lovely. It's lovely. It just wouldn't. Uh, again, have set my teeth on edge, and I think that's. What, what kind of woman would you picture wearing this fragrance? <laughs> you don't know. Uh -huh. Somebody that likes to smell it. It's <laughs> a good answer. Yeah. Um. This is softer. It's sweet, but it's soft. I think this one's a little powdery as well. Yeah. I have been catching the powder. What would you get this out of ten? Yeah, it's not exciting. I mean, if the scale is mm -hmm. 10 to the, the wow it's factor. It's not super in your face. It's a, it's a six. It's not bad. It's just, it's okay. not super in your face. It's a solid, 
I just don't want to stink today, smell. <laughs> Cover up my natural body odor, please. This is Good Girl Supreme. Uh, so this is supposed to be a really sexy fragrance, but it's toned down version of the OG, but okay. What did you give it? Six? Yeah. Six out of 10 for Good Girl Supreme. Fair enough. Okay. I couldn't help it. <laughs> this is the next one, guys. This one is very different. We'll see how you feel. It's nice. This one I feel like a guy could wear too. I, I would wear really? it. Really? That's interesting. Although it's any, you know, smell shouldn't be gendered. I'd wear this. I don't, I don't think so either. I'd rock this. Hell yeah. It's a good smell. You should rock this. Hell to the yeah. I like it. You like it. It's not, again, but I'm not, uh, it's not wanting, making me want to procreate. <laughs> that's the goal. I don't it's know. It's not what, triggering your animal None instincts. of that should ever be the goal. <laughs> <laughs> that is the goal. Always. Um, I like it. I'm going to. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Seven out of ten. I like the smell a lot in a way that I'd want to smell like this, but it, it's not necessarily something that, and I would enjoy smelling it on somebody else. It's not something that's going to make me it's not forget sexy. what I was saying. Uh huh. Right? Okay. That's what you want. Okay. Leave me mid sentence. Duh. Duh. This one is very beautiful. I think it's not as sexy, it's but it's beautiful. Smell. It's yes. elegant. Yes. It's refined. It has a maturity to it, but not in a bad way. Right. Did you rate it yet? I'm gonna say six, seven. Seven. Seven, seven out of 10. Because it's beautiful but not sexy. And this is Kayali Pink Pepper, Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. So this is a rose vanilla fragrance. I'm surprised because normally I'm not a fan of rose. Yeah, but they well, did it's it rose well. done yeah. well. It's yeah. rose done really well. Rose and it has some well. pepperiness in the beginning. So maybe that's why you were thinking I could wear this because it has like a little spice, a little something spicy. Okay, so here is the next one we're gonna smell. Ladies, you all know what this is. Let's get a sniffaroo. Yeah, this, what's, this one, like one of the ones earlier, mm -hmm. I, I'm struggling to smell it. You're struggling to smell it? Yeah. Okay. I can see that. It has a very airy quality about it. It's really light. It's light. Mm-hmm. So again, it's not a bad smell, but I feel like I'm... Underwhelming. Taking some deep lung breaths to smell it right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. I would like it to be yeah, stronger. It's quite airy. I, it's not that, uh, it's not a dense fragrance. Maybe that's what you're picking up. This is what you put on when you're going for a picnic. Yeah. I can see that. Day out. For a picnic. Not an evening out. No. I don't think it's an evening scent either. It's a day out. Huh? Yeah. If you're going out for the day, I'll give it a seven. What kind of woman do you see wearing this fragrance? Or man? Anyone that likes it. Anyone that likes it. Great answer. I approve. On a picnic. <laughs> as long as you're going on a picnic. All right. Seven out of ten. Seven that? out of ten. It's really hard to smell on the paper. That, I think. I genuinely hardly smell it. I think we need to spray my, this on skin. Give on me skin. your hand. Be more in your face now. It smells completely different. I know, right? The paper. It's such a different experience when you spray a perfume on your body. It's like, ugh. that's why these tests are hard. Yeah, I like it though. Still 7 out of 10? Yeah. You wouldn't change your rating? I actually was, I felt my rating was inflated the first time around, so I'm going to stay at 7. Yeah. I'm, I feel more confident with my 7 now. Okay, good. So you like it more it now? It smells good on skin. Yeah, it's nice. It's so nice. this is actually an Ariana Grande perfume. It is a celebrity fragrance, and it's uh, probably her most popular fragrance. It's very well known, and it's supposed to be kind of a dupe of a very expensive niche fragrance. So Ariana Grande. Maybe. Ariana Grande. We're gonna go out. Call me up. <laughs> All right. So we have a couple more here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? It's okay. We're gonna get through this. You got this. Throw through. I really snorted some coffee. <laughs> are you getting from this fragrance? I mean, after a while, they start to kind of be a little similar, but yeah. this one has something in it really strong that's different. Mm. I like it because it's like a naked lady I'm looking Yeah, at. don't look at the bottle! <laughs> I know, right? The bottles influence it. Should have blindfolded him. I, it, it's a nice smell. I don't know if it's a going out smell. Mm -hmm. You think it's mature? It is mature. 
Like little kids only were in this, right? Really? Not that I know what little kids smell like. <laughs> There's something in there. It smells nice, but it's not sexy. It smells like flowers. Nice, but not sexy. Yeah. It's actually non floral perfume. The main accords in this are pear and vanilla. They're so it's very fruity and sweet. Fruity and sweet. But it has a mature vibe. I can yeah. see what you're saying. I mean, it's like, I don't know. It can, I feel like this could suit any age. It's very versatile, in my opinion. How much? But you didn't read it out of 10. Six. Six out of 10. Okay. Six out of 10 for La Belle. I'm gonna do one more and then you'll be free. Then the torture will end. This week will be in the travel size. It's strong. You should be able to smell this one. This one is potent. There's something really strong in there. There's like one scent coming through. Mm -hmm. Is it fruity? Is it woody? Is it sweet? It floral again. Floral, uh-huh. There so are some floral tones. I like it though. You like it? It almost could, I feel like I could wear this too. Really? Okay. I love it. So comfortable in his masculinity. <laughs> it smells good, it smells good. It smells nice. Nice. So, and that's the thing too, is I, I, I'm i always comfortable where, like, I don't care if it says it's supposed to be for what gender. Mm -hmm. If I like the smell, smell I'll, like, I'll, I'll wear it. Yeah, that's how it should the, be. These smell good. I'd wear some of these. Um, but, and I think that's common, right? You mm -hmm. want to smell, like, you also want to smell like what you like. Of course. Um, but, but these last two haven't been, Blowing your they mind. don't want make me want to smack my mom. Right? You know what, <laughs> what? I mean? I, I, I don't know I, what you mean. I, I'm sorry. My, my teeth have been set on edge, but I, I like it. I'm yeah. going to give that one a seven. Again. Okay, a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Uh, this is Donna born in Roma. It has black currant, so it's very like juicy yeah. and sweet in the beginning. So and then it has jasmine and then vanilla in the base. So you might jasmine. have been getting that black was currant. It jasmine, the floral? Yeah, it's a flower. You know, jasmine's a flower. Is that what I'm getting though? That's what that's You're probably getting the black currant because that's a very prominent, like juicy, kind of tangy. I think it's the, is it that's tangy? The, yeah, that's the, I think that's the part mm -hmm. I like about it. Yeah, though. it's really nice. I love this one. So that is Donna Born in Roma. You gave it a seven? Seven and a half. Seven and a half out of ten for Donna Born in Roma. So your favorite was actually this one. You gave, first of all, there were no ten out of tens. There were no nine out of tens. The highest we got was an eight out of ten, guys. The, the nine and tens are reserved for the. For I forgot like, what it your was. Your panties saying. just drop to the yeah. floor immediately. Both of them. <laughs> so this was your favorite. This was Sophia by Sophia Vergara. You gave this an eight out of ten. Call me Sophia. Hey, Sophia Vergara, killing it! Oh my gosh. So yeah, this is a fruity, sweet, very playful fragrance. I love this one. I think it's amazing for any time, and it's cheap. So this was the cheapest one on the whole list and he liked it the best. Actually, maybe Jessica Simpson Fancy is on par, but still one of the cheapest. So that's great news for us ladies. We're, we're very simple folks. Yes, simple folks, simple creatures, simple little brain. Don't make okay. it complicated. And then the other one you really liked was this one, Zadi Voltaire. And this was the, di the one that was a little more woody. It's mm. different than all the rest, more unique. This is the one you said it could be unisex, and yeah, I can totally all day. see that. All day, that one, yep. This is sexy. I said it before and I'll say it again. You guys, get your hands on this fragrance. You're hearing it straight from a man. It is sexy. It is unique, and yeah, this is an awesome one. This is a boss bitch fragrance, in Word. my opinion. That, yes. Boss bitch yes. fragrance right Runnin here. Running shit. Mm, mm, mm. Making me stay after and work late. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cole, for paying a visit Pleasure. to my channel. I really hope you guys enjoyed this content. Like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Do you want to see more of this gorgeous face? Bye. Thanks for tuning in.